What's going on guys, all you here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Prem Player of the Month card to review and it is going to be Almiron. I cannot believe he won it over Haaland and EA juiced them up really nicely. He's an 85 overall. All the predictions I saw on Twitter was like 82, 83 overall Almiron. EA went crazy and gave him an 85 overall. He's got a 93 pace with 86 dribbling, 82 shooting, 81 passing and 70 physicals. He is a 5 foot 9 player with high high work crates, left footed, four star skill moves with a four star weak foot. EA upgraded his weak foot. He went from a two star weak foot to a four star weak foot. And look how many positions he can play. Right wing, right mid, centre mid, cam. Crazy. Like it kind of makes me think of play the month Messi where he can only play in the cam position. That's it. He can't play down the line. No, no, no. Cam position and cam position only. Well, Almron can play four different positions. Now the cam style, it really does depend on where you want to play him. I feel like if you're playing him in a striker position, Hawk is the way to go to give him the extra shooting stats and obviously extra pace as well. But if you're playing him down the line, I would recommend the engine chem style to make him still obviously get that increase to pace but feel better on the ball. And if you're thinking you're playing him in a cam position, I recommend the marksman chem style because as a cam, that kind of pace is more than enough. In the cam position, you kind of just want him to have better shooting and better dribbling as well. The passing, though, for a person that will play in a cam position isn't, like, incredible, but it's not, like, the end of the world either. You just have to try to keep it a bit more simple with him because the long passing on this card doesn't look that great. He hasn't got any shooting traits, unfortunately, but the stats all round do look really good. Like, 98 shot power is outrageous. He's also got 86 finishing as well. He's got really nice long shots. Pace is through the roof. He has got the explosive accelerate style as well uh dribbling stats dribbling stats look good and i'm hoping he does feel good in game but i'm probably going to switch him at 1.2 a marksman chem style just to see how much better he feels on the ball now the links the links aren't great like they're not bad but they're not great like he uh he comes from paraguay so it's like the nationality isn't gr isn't great for links in this game at all but the club, I guess, isn't too bad because if you're still using someone like St. Max, it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, it's not up there with a player like Marcus Rashford when it comes down to the links. Now, when it comes down to positions, I will be playing Almoron in three positions. The cam position, the striker position, and down the line as well. So let's get into this review and let's see how good player of the month Almoron is going to be. Let's go for a switch here into KDB. Surely he wins that, right? There you go. Almoron, nice touch. Good turn as well. Can I get around that corner? I can. You know what? I'm going to go for this. Just to see, you know, just to see if it's going to fly in. We ended up green timing it as well. That turn, by the way, seems super quick. And we could have got the sweat there. But Donnarumma came out really quickly. I'm trying to get in behind here. Let's see what I can do. Maybe go for an over top through ball. There you go. That's perfect. Nice touch. Good turn. It's just the volley was slightly off. It's not like an amazing angle. But that definitely wasn't a bad angle either. I am definitely noticing Almiron coming like deep. Like you see him right now. He's not really like running up there too much. And now he runs up there finally. He does drop deep. He likes to come short. I'm going to go for this because why not? It was an outside foot. He's left footed as well. But once again, it is a very hard angle. I'm not expecting that to go in. Go on Rashford, get around him. Oh, okay. Hold on. Back stick. Wide open. Good cross as well. Touch. Finish. We're getting so unlucky right now. It's actually crazy. How? How does he recover there and get the block? I probably should have aimed near post then. He's in. Hold on. That's a good through ball as well. Almron. Great touch. Nice turn. Accelerate. Go on. Keep it going. We'll roll there. A few step overs. Get that in front. R1 dribbling. He does feel great on the ball. With the, even with the Hawk chem style. Look at this. He feels nice. The ball is like sticking to him. I don't think you need the marksman or engine chem style with the way he's feeling on the ball. I don't really feel like there's a need. He's in. There you go. Quick lack of to pass. No. Oh, he got it. Hold on. There you go. We get our first goal. That was jammy though. That was so jammy. How KDB won that? I have no idea. Just send him in behind. It needs to be perfectly timed. I think he might be just slightly onside. Nice R1 dribble. Good step overs in the inside. Go on. No, I went for the extra pass. I should have just shot. You see the dribbling though, once again, using the step overs to create an angle, quick R1 dribble, and the pass was really nice as well. Let's go for a dribble in there. There you go. Quick Migidi spin cancel. Nice R1 dribble around the corner. Almoron. 
Go on. There you go. We hit him with the... I don't know what you called. I have no idea what the name of that skill move is. But it got added this year. And it is really, really good as you guys can see. And there's a nice finish from him as well. Side netting. I see you, Rashford. I see you, Rashford. That's a good pass. No. He was off. It must have been so close. That pass though looked perfect. Driven at Casemiro. There you go. Good touch. Go on. Get around him. Perfect. Needs to go in. It needs to go in. On oh, he's stronger for a cross goal, especially getting into the angle like that. If that misses, I will have no idea what to say. That needs to go in. Get in front of the player there. There you go. Nice turn, Harrison, for the gap. One, two. Play it over. No. If the pass was slightly better, that was a good passing play. Let's play a through ball. Harrison and Almoron. Versus, who is this? I have no idea. Gomez. We get the pass across, and Almoron once again finishes it. This guy's paused the game, and I think he is going to quit. Oh, I switched to the wrong formation. Casemiro come feet. Nice. Almoron, give me that option. Well played. Round a corner. Nah, Kula Bali. Kula Bali's just there waiting for me to do that into him so he can collect that ball. The positioning there, though, really nice. He wasn't aggressive. He didn't make an irrelevant run. He actually gave me a passing option there, which is really good to see. Is he going to give me a passing option here? Let me see. Yeah, you see how he's just like, he's not being aggressive. He's just sitting in front of the defensive line. Great turn. There you go. We do him this time. No! On the four-star weak foot. The four-star weak foot does that. He's got a lot of players back. I'm trying to find a gap, but this guy's defensive line is like a brick wall. We have got a gap though. Hold on. Amron. Great turn. Unreal turn. Needs to go in near post there. Honestly, he's shooting at good angles. It's top tier. It feels like he does finish the majority of the chances. It's just, I've had a few issues on that four-star weak foot, which I'm not happy about. Get that ball, Amron. Be aggressive. Nah, look at that, by the way, from Koulibaly. Yeah, it better be a foul. It better be a foul. Like, Almoron, you can tell, was kind of fighting a little bit there, but it's Koulibaly at the end of the day. You guys know Koulibaly is going to somehow find a way to get players off the ball. Let me see what I can do here. Maybe go for a finesse shot. Nah, we green timed it. That looked like a decent shot. There was a lot of power behind it. Give that early. Perfect. A few step overs. He is not marking this at all, by the way. Whoa, what? What did I just see? What? What was that? I'm going to manual switch into him. Can I get that in front? Yes, I can. Great turn. Get that pass. No. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. What is happening? What is happening? We actually got around the, key, uh, the keeper there. I'm surprised we did because usually the keeper just comes out and collects it. But this time, Alisson actually missed it. I need to go forward here. It's the last second. It's already one minute past added time. Almiron. A ref needs to be a penalty. Needs to be a pen. You see that extra touch he took just to get away from the player? I'm telling you guys, his ball control is really good. He's going to step up here. Uh, he's got 83 pens with 98 shot power. We're going to go top left. Oh, that's a lot of power. Top left corner. Yeah, you're not saving that. You're not saving that. I'm going to get him on the outside foot. There you go. We got it. We got it. Green timed. Oh, okay. Crossbar down. I was not expecting it to go crossbar down. Usually, they just go like top corner. They float in there. But that one was hit so nicely. The power, accuracy, spot on. So my final thoughts on player of the month, Almiron. We ended up playing four games with him and we scored seven goals. His stronger foot shots are not an issue at all. The weak foot shots, though, hmm. That's where we have an issue. Because it didn't feel like a four-star weak foot. It felt like a three-star weak foot. I was so disappointed in those weaker foot shots. But the stronger foot shots were top tier. The pace on this card, very, very nice. I didn't even switch him to a marksman or an engine chem style because he felt good on the ball. There's no need to go for a marksman. There's no need to go for an engine chem style because those stats, I'm telling you guys right now, those stats are fake. He does not feel like he's got 84 ball control. He feels like he's got 88 ball control. He's taking every single precise touch. And the reason we got the penalty is because he took this very precise touch just before the player went into the tackle, allowing him to hit Almoron and not hit the ball and allowing us to get the penalty. His ball control is incredible. I don't think there's a need to go for the marksman or engine chem style. Will he even feel better on those chem styles? Yes. But for me personally, I'd rather have the extra shooting stats and the extra pace on this card. See, I do believe the Hawk is the way to go. The passing, 
good. Nothing top tier, nothing amazing, just straight up good. Dribbling ability, spoke about it, uh, and physicals. He definitely isn't a physical player. He definitely isn't a player that holds off, uh, you know, Koulibaly or Virgil van Dijk. No, none of that. It's just you can definitely tell there's a little bit of fight. There's a little bit of aggression on him, which is really, really nice. Now, the price is 96k, 96,000 coins. I don't think that's the correct pricing. I think that is overpriced. If this card was like 60, 50k, I would say it's worth it. 96,000 coins is too much when you can pick up a player from the same league, a player that plays in the exact same position, the right wing position. He can play right mid and he can get switched into the left wing position as well for 70k. This card is 70,000 coins. The only issue with this card that Almoron wins on is stamina. The stamina is an issue on this card and he doesn't last for the whole 90 minutes while Almoron does last for the whole 90 minutes. It's just this card is better. Uh, shooting wise, it's better dribbling wise. Pace, I'll give Almore on it. I'll give Almore. Almore on it is better when it comes down to the pace. But yeah, dribbling, shooting, Leon Bailey 100% wins. He's 70k and Almore on is 96k. I don't believe he is worth it because you can pick up Leon Bailey for 70,000 coins. It is slightly disappointing because he is a nice card. It's just he isn't like an outrageously good card. I don't think he's on Leon Bailey's level. I don't. That's why he is going to go into the A tier and not the A plus tier. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.